Well, indoor BMX racing has returned to the Treasure Valley for the first time in 20 years, giving riders a chance to compete during winter months. However, Idaho Indoor BMX has to build the track at the Caldwell Fairgrounds and then tear it down and rebuild it in order to make it happen. Six on your side, Steve Dent shows us why they do it. One of the amazing things about our sport is no child sits on the bench. Whether you're an expert, a novice, a first-time rider, you're guaranteed to race at every event. There's no doubt that BMX riding is a family sport, and it develops friendships like Ellie and Celeste. For them, it's the first time in their lives that they've been able to race inside in the Treasure Valley. It's really cool. Um, we've been waiting for this for a while, and since we finally got it, it's really good. Yeah. But this opportunity didn't come without a lot of hard work. Fairgrounds turned over a wonderful blank canvas. Over a two day span, Idaho Indoor BMX built this track with the help of donated equipment, supplies, and around 20 volunteers who put it all together. Yeah, I want to thank them for getting the building secured, all the dirt, all the dirt that was donated, all the man hours going into the gate, everything into the track. It's awesome. But that's only half the story. All this dirt, when the racing ends this weekend, has to go right back out of the building. We'll hop in our Coastline donated John Deere equipment. We'll doze all this equipment out, stage it in a stockpile area, let it sit before we return on the 1st of March. But all of this effort builds more than just a track. It kind of brings the family together and sometimes like we're all like uh, busy and stuff outside. But when we come here, it's like it brings us all together. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Dent, six on your side.